Hello, hello. This plane right here, we call it the Buzzsaw, designed by Lloyd Snyder. It's an awesome airplane. One of the motors started acting up, and um, we've got a differential thrust set up. And when I would release the rudder, one of the motors wouldn't catch back up in a timely manner. And I had a pretty bad crash with it last week. When I did, this nacelle got blowed out. It was crushed. It, I mean, it was just busted out of there and the leading edge was this all in here was destroyed so i've had to replace this is new foam i added these riblets uh this was all cracked up it's been repaired i added this piece to keep that nose from sinking in um i put a splice on the spar the spar was broken and then it was broke out here too. This one I just glued, but that one I spliced. I added this filler block. It's kind of a green foam, and that uh, that gives it so if it gets head on like that, it won't push back again like it did before. And then um, this sheeting here is going to go down over top of it, and I added this little place for it to land right there to glue onto, and I added this little place for the, the sheeting to land on to give you somewhere to glue and then this whole thing it took me quite a while to make this top sheet and it just goes down and uh fits in there just right this little opening here is just so you can unplug the motor wires if something happens to the motor i also figured out what the problem was with the, the plane and I thought the, B, the uh, ESC was going bad, but it actually was the motor. And I had another motor. These are Ernie Wing Knight motors. I had them in a bag labeled and put a new one on there, and the problem went, went away. I changed the speed control, and the problem didn't go away. And then I went back to the old speed control, changed the motor, and it was okay. Just a quick note on making these sheets like this. As you're trying to... I just do it a line at a time. I got this line straight first, and then I came down this way and and work my way down. But the way I do it is I'll put a piece of tape on the phone, and I'll, you know, with the this piece not there, I'll actually draw a line on that tape, and then I get the phone up in there, line up with that tape, and then mark right on the phone where I want the cut in line with what it's actually supposed to be and then when i'm done i just pull all the tape off so anyway there was several pieces of tape in different places and i've pulled all the other ones off but um i don't know i enjoy the uh the technicality of how the hell to get this thing back together without just pulling your hair out it's it's like a a puzzle that's not finished and i just like doing it so she will fly again as soon as the weather breaks later